What's up guys, Blind Cubs is here and welcome back to Interrealms. So oh, I hope I will not die. Welcome back uh, to our servers and we starting back to our pyramid after last episode with in just our area. We go in oh almost died. Right, back to normal and today we will be starting on doing some stuff on the pyramids. As I promised on the stream for Troj, we will be doing more and more in his area. Uh, I want to find this looking very, very good. I want to be proud of this area when people will be coming and visiting my area. Which, as you can see, I digged out a bit in here, which we will build today a gate. Uh, I do have some simple design. I don't want to do it as sort of a complicated because at the end of the day, it's just it, it's Egyptian theme. I don't, it's not a massive thing. They build big ones, but obviously not with this gate. Uh, but a part of the simple gate will have some piston doors inside to make sure none of the mobs can come inside to our base. Uh, I need to grab a couple of shulkers and we'll start building right now. I, uh, it was much much easier than I expect and I even uh, make it up oh, stop it second time You know what get off uh, I even changed a little bit design because of uh, originally he had pressure plates on the other side that you can run in But obviously we're playing on the hard mode Which I don't want to run away from zombies and they literally run over the uh, Pressure plates and open the doors straight on the front of him. That's why I've got a button in here. I can oh put a little bit delay on this but now you know what I think it should be fine we've got a button on the other side uh, I could do it on both sides but I don't think I need this now time to build a frame for the gates Nicely done. A gate's ready. It's all working, tested multiple times. Uh, I did not go over complicated with design. It's very simple. I want to keep the theme of the Egyptian pretty simple. Nothing super fancy, obviously. Um, ooh, ooh. I'm pretty happy with the piston doors all working. I've done quite fast. Uh, um, obviously, I might add up some a uh, little extra. I might do like a flax. I don't know if you remember. I've done the flax on the end shop uh, and on my uh, gate on the first shopping district, which I might do something like that. Next step will be to create uh, some path uh, in here, and I want to do some like tiny, uh, small. Uh, Monument around here to lead into the map and basically the village, uh, but we'll leave it with this for now today uh, Now I want to move to and go to never and get some weather skulls because I Fancy to get on the weather and get another beacon uh, Now I will go straight to never and I'll see you in a bit I definitely need to do some about my uh, Never Portal because it's the, the road not being changed since the first episode, which I decided to be only person who have some sort of path to the SD. But after that, uh, everyone else got a beautiful entrance, and my one is just a cobblestone every odd bit. Ugh, ugly. Yeah, just look at that. This is all the miners. Oh my gosh. And, and we've got even Shelly got nicely done then 
Bella Gaming TV, Kiru Pakal, with his end city inside the never. And then if you have a look in here, I think a Troj also have got all nicely done. Embarrassing. I'm pretty sure this is the original uh, way to Halloween District, but I used this to make tunnels into the obviously the Halloween District. But I know that I think someone was using this for weather skeletons, which I'm hoping to find something around here. That might take ages. Okay. Oh, he's on me! No, oh, you know what? Come on, come, come here. Which way are you going? Pointing. Oh, interesting. Double whammy. Come on, get me, my friends. I actually killed like a dozen, and I finally got one. There's one more here. Come on, it's on my lucky day. One more head. Oh my god, it didn't to kill him. The problem is, there's so many blazes around, it's difficult to focus on just one thing, even though I've got a my fire resistant potion on it. Do I take ages before I find all three? But hey ho, that's a target for today. We can do it. Tense, I would say, that's definitely tense. Cheeky withers here. Oh, and another stupid. All right, you come to me. Please be my last heads. Nope. I think there's one more there. Okay, my fire resistance potion just running out and I don't have any more, which I think this is it. Uh, I don't think we managed to get everything I want, but we'll go back to the base and we will see what do we have. I will see you back then. And here we are, back to the base. So shall we have a look? What do we have? Uh, strain, I've got magma cream, which is 25, 46 blaze rods, which is fabulous because I will never have to go back and ask for blaze rods. I'd look for blaze rods more. Loads of bones because I can load of wither skulls, skeletons, obviously some random stuff. I managed to get one ghastly, which is great uh, for the future to try to get the dragon. Uh, oops, sorry. Uh, we've got a magma cube hedge, which is so cute. Uh, don't look at this right now, obviously call, and I managed to get two with a skeleton skulls, which is great. Uh, I could stay a little bit longer, which was one and a half hours, but I got tired to be in the never, especially I hate to be there. Uh, I'm much more confident with the end, not with never. But I know the drag call is uh, 89, selling some with a skulls, which I managed to get myself another three, which five overall, which this gives us a chance to get at least one uh, new beacon. I've got one spare beacon, which uh, I just want to start spreading them everywhere. Uh, and then we'll hope we'll get one more head some day and we'll get another beacon later on. One last thing, guys, before we'll uh, wrap it up this episode, I've got something to show you. I did do extra decoration on both gates. I finished our gate on the other side, but there we go. I've added up a little bit of texture, some slabs, some different bits, uh, and the two main things. 
I've done two different signs, which is Ankh and Sa, uh, which this sign is basically a sign of, uh, it's, it's associated with, it, uh, I think, Anubis, which is God of life, which is symbol of life, key to the life, and other sign, other side we've got a symbol Sa, which we've got a dual meaning, technically, this is from Egyptian mythology, uh, it does mean either protection or shelter, oh, I'm almost on fire, uh, which, yeah, uh, I've got a tiny uh, showcase time last for you, which, enjoy that at the end, hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I will see you soon, bye-bye. Mm -hmm.